and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout. 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to be going over all the November Mud content. So I'm going to be recapping pretty much everything that's going to come out in November, what to look forward to. I did this video for you guys about October 2nd of last... Well, yeah, now it's last month. I did this going over all the October content. I went over most feared i went over mutt here i don't know everything that would be involved with the october the month of october for mutt now you guys did like that video you showed tons of support on it so i imagine that you guys like it so i'm gonna do it again for this series we have the series three obviously we have the blitz promo and the thanksgiving promo that's what we can pretty much expect from thanksgiving now i'm gonna go over everything you can expect from both those promos what you should be on the lookout for what you should maybe be in touch with how many coins you might want to have I'm gonna go over everything in this video so stay tuned for all that guys Plenty of good info for you guys. And quite honestly, Thanksgiving is usually the second best promo in Madden. It usually goes third worst or third best is Halloween. Second best is Thanksgiving. First best is Christmas. That's usually the way it goes. And Thanksgiving, depending on the year, can even put up a fight against thing, uh, Christmas, although it's not going to be better. It does compare quite considerably at times. Now, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn that notification bell. Come join the family. I'm giving you guys all the content for the month of November, so you might as well hit that subscribe button. And honestly, come check out the rest of what this month has to offer while watching the videos. And if you haven't already, comment down below everything you guys know about the November month of when it comes to content. Comment down everything because if I might miss something, right? Comment down below so the community will know what's your favorite thing in the November and specifically like cornucopia packs, anything like that. And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Get this video to 200 likes. If you're loyal, you're a supporter, you come here every day. Always like the video. It helps out tremendously, boys. Now let's get into this video. So first things first. When we're looking at content for the month of November, we, like I said, we get a Blitz and a Thanksgiving. The Thanksgiving usually comes out before the Blitz, but the Blitz is usually a part of it. It's not like they're separate. They're, they're, they're together in the sense that the Blitz is kind of a part of Thanksgiving, but not using Thanksgiving cards. They're not saying like Mutt Heroes and the uh, Mutt Heroes and Most Feared were two separate things, like one after the other. They kind of go inside with each other. Although the Blitz is more related to the um, Black Friday is more so what the Blitz is in comparison to Thanksgiving, which is more about Thanksgiving, quite obviously. So in my opinion, which one do I like better? The Blitz brings about some pretty awesome cards, not going to lie. Like, to be honest with you guys, I really do think the Blitz is awesome. But the Blitz can be quite expensive for the avid Madden user, which does actually... It's, it's honestly quite difficult for the avid Madden user to actually partake in the Blitz, which does kind of suck, to be quite honest with you. Now, in my opinion, would I recommend you guys take part in the Blitz? If Madden gives us enough ways to actually take part in the Blitz this year, then yes. But in years past, the Blitz is typically a money spender promo. So, you know, you come to the store and it'll be like 100 Blitz tokens for 92 Blitz Tyreek Kill. 100 Blitz tokens, you can only really get most of the tokens from doing packs. So, it would take you like $100 with the packs again. So, Blitz promo is typically really expensive. It is a buyer's promo. So, that there's that's more of a buyer's promo. Now, Thanksgiving, thanks to the way Madden has really incorporated solos and that cards, they've made it available so that solos have a no money spent aspect and a money spent aspect. Now, the Blitz promo in years past has never been a no money spent. Blitz promo is a heavy spender promo. So, I'm not even joking. There'll be a bundle right here. It'll be like 30 Blitz, uh, 30 Blitz packs with 60 extra tokens. Now, you get the 60 extra keys or tokens and that gets you one player. There'll be a master. It's usually like Night Train Lane, Blitz Master. There's a Tyree Kill. Uh, tons of stuff just like that. I'm telling you guys, Blitz promo is crazy, but it's a heavy money spenders promo and it really does take a hit on how many people can participate in it. But the Thanksgiving promo, you have a lot to look forward to. So I'm gonna go over what I, the, the base of, I went over the base of Blitz. I'm gonna go over Thanksgiving, then I'll come back in depth on everything on Blitz. Now, Thanksgiving, we can expect. So Thanksgiving, I'd imagine this promo will start around November, between November 14th and the 20th. So in between there is when I think this promo will actually start, at least being announced. The special stream will probably be within the second to third week of November. But in my opinion, the way they'll kick off Thanksgiving is pretty simple. They'll drop like, they'll, like every year, backyard solo challenges, backyard football, playing against the Turkey Day players. Play some solos. You're gonna get. There's always gonna be food. There's gonna be pumpkin pie. There's gonna be pumpkin collectibles. Pumpkin pie collectibles. Stuffing collectibles. Gravy collectibles. Maybe there'll be tears. There's going to be a master set. Hopefully, like there was this one. You last year the master set was a Lawrence Taylor, and the pieces were like Pat Mahomes, Alvin Kamara, uh, Jason Peters. Honestly, quite a bit came back to me there, but I don't remember the rest. But 
I envision that I honestly think Pat Mahomes will get another Thanksgiving card. I think Ezekiel Elliott would have gotten a Thanksgiving card, but they gave him the uh, the signature series, so we will not be getting that. Quite a few players could be in line for a Thanksgiving card. Typically, whoever plays in Thanksgiving will definitely get a Thanksgiving card. So they also do this, which is pretty cool. They do um, Thanksgiving performer cards. So they give you cards that upgrade based on how they play on Thanksgiving. So last year they gave us a Kenny Galladay, and Kenny Galladay essentially was a collectible card that was like a he starts at like a 90 overall, and for everything he does, he gets a high overall. So Let's say this year, because we're already at 92s, they give Kenny Galladay a 92 Thanksgiving card. So if Kenny Galladay gets 50 receiving yards in this game, he becomes a 93 overall. If he gets 100 receiving yards, he becomes a 94 overall. They do stuff like that. So maybe let's say this year, let's just say, for instance, Saquon played on Thanksgiving, which I don't even think he is. I'm just giving you guys BS examples. If Saquon played on Thanksgiving, it'll be like, if Saquon scores a touchdown, he becomes a 93 overall. If he scores a two touchdowns and 100 yards, he becomes a 94 overall. And then when the Thanksgiving games collude, uh, conclude and the next day, the update happens, your players become that overall and now they have the quick sell value the coin rating everything so it's pretty cool when they do stuff like that and to get those cards typically you can get them from playing solo challenges solo challenges usually give you enough collectibles and enough things to at least participate a little bit that's the one beauty of the thanksgiving promo it the solos give you enough nat players and enough collectibles to at least participate a little bit even for a no money spent guy now obviously there's going to be there's going to be objectives for the no um, thanksgiving promo which will be like get 100 yards get two touchdowns get this stuff and it'll give you collectibles like pumpkin pie gravy and then the biggest set of all minus the master set now the master set like i said probably be like six, three to six players and then like a lawrence taylor 95 96 now this year they did multiple master sets for halloween so i don't know if next year i mean they usually do that so i don't know about thanksgiving if they'll do more than one set i envision a barry sanders a barry sanders and a lawrence taylor are what i'm expecting from this promo those are those are the banger cards i'm expecting i'm hoping for one of those two cards there's always a red skin card i feel like there's maybe an rg3 flashback i'm just hoping for something now as far as the biggest set that everyone knows most uh, not most feared the thanksgiving promo for is the cornucopia pack so the cornucopia pack for all you guys will be over in sets you come over it'll be a pack that guarantees you typically one of everything in the game so it'll be like a pack of 15 items will be one team of the week item one team of the week boss one full legend one legend piece one most feared card one uh let's see one mud hero card now they won't have to be the best one maybe it'll only guarantee you one full legend and then it'll guarantee you like one card for every thing so like, if you hit big you can get a bunch of full pulls and make tons of coins but typically in years past the cornucopia pack hasn't been overpowered since like madden 13 back then like when you open a cornucopia pack like, you were guaranteed some crazy stuff now it's like you're guaranteed one of every promo but you realistically could just pull the 83s for every promo and you lose out hundreds of thousands of coins to get this is typically with collectibles so last year with free collectibles we could essentially get about 40 to 50 free collectibles which guaranteed you one free cornucopia pack or you could use it to get like two seasonal uh, two thanksgiving performers so it all depends on how you look at that so obviously when the time comes and i go i'll make videos for you guys going over what i recommend you guys do over the whole the whole the whole, the whole bit you know I'll, I'll go over everything but that's what you gotta expect cornucopia packs master packs plenty of solo challenges a barry sanders a lawrence taylor i think a patrick mahomes i think those are kind of what you can you can bank on from this promo maybe a few turkey exchange sets some turkey exchange players some low overall turkey players pretty much wraps up what you can expect i think the highest overall that promo will hit will maybe be like a 95 boss like a 95 lawrence taylor considering ray lewis was a 93 i believe that the next one will probably be like a 95 and then in my opinion the blitz promo is going to be like a it's like a few day thing and it's daily like there's gonna be like daily uh, solo challenges you play for it code breakers potentially a lot of cool things that you get from the blitz promo riddled solos and you can participate you can still make coins back because those pieces that you get do usually quick sell for like 5k coins each so if you get like 50 and you can't use them you could sell them for maybe they sell for 2k coins each so make like 100k it all depends and you could usually get i got one free player last year i don't remember from what i think they gave you enough pieces to get like one i think i went with tyree kill but you usually can't participate in the big one like there'll be like a dick lane or night train lane if you don't know his real name Night Train Lane will be like 600 keys, and 600 keys last year was like $800 worth of packs. I remember that vividly. That was horrible. But I can assure you one thing: the Night Train, the, the Blitz Master card, you usually can never buy in the auction block. That thing goes for like a million coins at all times, crazy amount of coins, and no, and it's not. It's usually not even worth it for that amount of coins. But guys, that pretty much wraps up all of the November month content. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Series we already got, so I'm not going to put that in there. We already got a series update as of this morning. You guys have seen all those videos. What you can expect is Thanksgiving, Cornucopia Packs. You can expect Blitz promo, and that should wrap up the entirety of Thanksgiving. In the next month, we'll do our 
Christmas and our December monthly Madden content. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of the November content update. Did I miss anything? Are there any things you guys are excited for? What do you hope or you expect? If you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up. All the loyal fans, all the supporters, always give this video a big thumbs up. Helps me out tremendously, guys. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.